Thank you, Mrs. Pullman. Um, as you know, just a, a real quick recap of where we are with regards to Senate Bill 154. Our next meeting is February 19th, and it is clearly my fervent hope that at that meeting we will come to some conclusion with regards to the amount of money that the district has identified as needing. Um, and um, my suspicion is that that will, will be somewhere in the range of $880 million. Realizing then that the task of the committee will be to determine how to, what revenue sources they can um, use to develop, not what they, they can use, but that they feel are uh, viable revenue sources uh, to put on the ballot in November, uh, it, the, more, the likelihood is that in order to have any chance for um, passage, it's going to have to be, it more than likely will be uh, initiatives that are less than $880 million in revenue generation. Um, so with that in mind, this committee um, in post meetings that I've had with Senator Townsend and others, um, the question has come up, uh, and even in the full committee, of well, how is it that if you need $880 million and for sake of discussion, the revenue that we identify generates $500 million, how is it that you're going to go about prioritizing that prioritizing the 500 million. Um, and clearly, it has always been my contention that that is the board's responsibility um, and the board's job. Um, but I think it's going to be um, incumbent upon the board to eventually come to that committee and, and in a public comment uh, or even in the discussion, talk about the process that the board is going to use to do that prioritization. So the purpose of today is to talk about that uh, and to listen to what you have to say to each other and then eventually come back with um, a plan of action. Um, one recommendation that I have received is that perhaps the board might feel comfortable with identifying percentages. Um, for example, um, if it's $500 million that would be generated if the, if the ballot initiative passes, then um, I'm making this up. 70% you know, will go to revitalization of older schools, 20% will go to technology, and 10% will go to new schools. Um, that's been one suggestion that's been brought forward uh, with the belief that if that were now you may come up with something better, but if that were um, the agreement that the committee would feel pretty good about that. Um, clearly once that number is decided, the 500 million, and then it's 70 percent or, or whatever, the, if that's the way you go, then for the ballot language we're going to have to be very specific as to what that actually means. You know. Um, as we have been on our other ballot initiatives. So that's the purpose of today's uh, discussion is to put that out to you as board members and to listen to what you have to say uh, and then again come back after you've had a chance to listen to each other today and to think about it uh, in a future meeting so that we can get closure. Um, my hope would be that um, by the March meeting we would be able to have closure. The March. SB 154, SB 154 meeting. So with that, that's the purpose of the discussion. Um, <coughs> sorry, Leslie? Well, I appreciate the simplicity that a percentage allotment would make and then the decision's done. You know, you've got only so many dollars to work with. However, I believe that our greatest priority when it comes to capital is housing students and providing a seat for every child. I, I don't see the value in spending money on technology if we're in double sessions. Um, so I would have to say 
my first priority would be housing and then I would be willing to do a percentage between technology and revitalization, but not to handicap our ability to house students by an arbitrary percentage.